So here we're going to grind a single flute countersink. Put the cam on for the single flute countersink. It comes in a couple of flavors. Um, under half inch, which has a very small step. Over half inch, which has twice the step. So one's 15 thou, the other one's close to 30 thou. Larger tool, you need more travel. Set your motor tower at 41 degrees if it's an 82 degree countersink. Bring it to bear so that the tool is in the center of the wheel. Rotate around, check on your timing. Once again, the timing of the uh, flute, the flute is in line with the set screw on the collar. Turn your wheel on so the wheel is running into the cutting edge. So in this case, the motor is running backwards. We've got to set it set at about 1,000 RPM because we don't want to burn anything. You can feed in actually with either axes. going to loosen this up, move this back, I'm going to rotate the motor tower just a little bit until we get the angle we like, maybe a little more, that looks pretty good, snug the motor tower, rotate, it doesn't need to be super tight. Okay, feed back into the wheel. This time I'm feeding with the x-axis. Good sign is it's not making any noise. That means we're tracking the existing profile. See, we're not an exact match on the angle, but in this case, we don't really care. This countersink's used for deburring. You can see we're putting a little less clearance on the countersink than the original factory clearance, which also I prefer because it won't bite. You don't have to clean up all the way because the back behind the cutting edge is just clearance. And that's it for your single flute.